Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Atonotom. And I have been busy, kind of. Um, I did actually record another episode, but um, yeah, that didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out because basically it would. It ended up being me discovering, you know, um, not even discovering anything, just going mining. And it wasn't as interesting as I had hoped it was going to be. So I just left it. Because, you know, sometimes it it's it's not really worth it. So, um, and also in that other lost episode, I did a couple of quests. So I did uh, the watering can, faster farming. So... I can't remember which one I chose. I'll probably find out which one it is when I go back upstairs. But I chose something. And also, I did this one. The multi-tomb farming, where you had to create the Paxel. And the Paxel is a combination pickaxe, axe and shovel. And it was... I mean, the Paxel's very useful. But the one thing I did find out about is this. Kappa pick. Now the kappa pick is very easy, to, very cheap to make. It is um, two bits of iron, a piece, a uh, piece, of, well, not a piece of clay, a brick, and two sticks to make it into a pick. But it has huge durability, and also, um, what it does, it only mines up to a certain level, so it's not going to get diamonds or anything like that. But I think, up to about stone level. It will mine. So, you know, basic basic ore, but the more interesting thing is it will mine stone. And that will become apparent when we go down. So, um, I last time I dug down to about Y level 12, but now I've come down to bedrock, and I think the flat bedrock, mo flat bedrock mod is in this mod pack, which is awesome, because, you know, nobody likes all the jagged bits of bedrock but then this is where the kappa pick really comes into itself and I've been mining and look at what I've done I've taken you can because basically the kappa pick will clear a space I've been picking up the oh well I've got loads of cobble I've been picking up the cobble and putting it into a chest here, storage chest here, and just leaving everything else behind. So then I can come down, and after a while I can come and I can mine all the things. But the Kappa pick is awesome like that, because like I said, it has huge durability. I'm not even sure how much it has. Oh, I need to turn F7 back on. I'm not even sure how much it has. But it makes it super useful for just coming down and clearing swathes of space. And then I can just come and clean up all the stuff afterwards. But it just goes to show you just how much, how plentiful the ores are in this mod pack. So, you know, I, I guess the mod pack maker doesn't want people, you know, to just... Because mining is a big part of Minecraft. I mean, it's there in the title. But, you know, I, I'm guessing the mod pack maker doesn't want people to waste time spending all their time mining for stuff. All the stuff is just here, just for the taking. And basically, you know, you now you can concentrate on other things, like, uh, you know, learning how to use these other mods. So, I just thought I'd let you know what I've been doing. And then we can crack on to the next part. I just want to put a torch up here to the next part of the quest book. So, more storage. It needs four basic drawers. We can do that. And um, the chisel I want to do, the hopper, 
was the trees? Bonsai pot. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So you want a bonsai pot for that. Okay, we need to get make the bonsai pot. But let's see if we can knock out a couple of a couple of the quest lines. Because I don't really need to go exploring at the moment. Because that's probably why all the uh, why the villages are so plentiful as well. Because you know, like I said, I don't think the mod pack maker wants people to be wasting time looking for villages and looking for ores and all that kind of thing. You know, you just get down to the nitty gritty, which is, you know, playing with the mods. I'm just trying to put down a couple of torches so that mobs don't spawn so the next time I come down here I'm not overrun by zombies. And of course I've turned off my waypoints and I can't see where I am. There you go. So let's go back up to the top. And let's... oh yeah, you'll probably see there's a death point because I was going to come down here and I fell down the ladder. So, um... Yeah, what I really, I was going to say what I really should do is put some water. I think I'll do that actually. So if I do fall down there again, then I'll just land in the water and not kill myself. So next time I go down, I'm not even sure I've made a bucket. Because I don't think I've ever needed to make a bucket. And is it night time? Oh, it's night time. Well, then let's go and sleep and save the village. Because even though we have our golem, you know, we don't want to make anything harder than it is. We don't need any zombie villagers. So, let's transfer all the stuff I was mining. No, down there's the food. I did the iron chest quest as well. So I converted these into iron chests. I need three pieces of iron to make a bucket. Um, iron. What was that first thing? Was that a... Oh, that was a nugget. Okay, there's a bucket. Oh, and I already had a bucket. Oh, good grief. It's been a long day for me. But originally, I had been making lots of stone pickaxes. Oh, bit of lag. Been making lots of stone pickaxes, and because obviously cobblestone is plentiful, and just um, going through them that way. And then I discovered about the kappa act, kappa pick, and that kind of like negates the need for a stone pickaxe. I probably should have just gone through the door downstairs. Shut that door. Let's go down. I don't know why these ladders... I don't know why these ladders don't like me. Okay, I'm not falling. <laughs> I'm just going really fast. Okay, let's get a couple of pieces of and let's put the water there. There you go. So if I do fall down again, it will be straight into the water. I should probably make it. Oh, and of course, now that I've done that, I can't get out. <laughs> that was smart. But yes, yeah, so at least then I'll fall into the water. Ooh, charge surface quartz. It's always good. Not going to pass that up. Right, so let's see what quests. Okay, we need to make storage drawers. 
Okay, I've made one, but I needed to make four. All right, I will be back in a second when I've got my wood and I've, well, made... Actually, no, I think we'll make this together on camera. But I just need to go get some wood and do all that fun stuff. And you know how to get wood. I mean, everybody knows how to get wood, even if you're new to modded and stuff. So I will be back in a second. Okay, I'm just just come back up and outside to get the wood. But I have been clearing some of the trees out here. And I know that, you know, for immersive engineering and mechanism, what's these? Oh, carrot seeds. Um, they require a lot of space. So I was thinking probably what I will do is level out out here clear all these trees well not all of them at least these ones up here on the top of the hill around the sides and possibly those I'm not sure about that and making all the machines out here in the back garden rather than having to build another house and then starting up all over again so we have spruce woods I, to be honest, let me see, if we need to make four, that might not be enough wood. We need to get some more wood. And let's do this one as well. Because to make, because to make the drawers, you do need. Where's my house? Oh, there it is. You do need um, quite a few chests. So it's better to be safe than sorry, really. Okay, um, that's. We need four chests. No, I think you need... How many chests do you need? Hold on. I'm trying to see if I can do this from memory, but it's not really helping. Okay, store... It would help if I could spell storage. Not storage drawers? Yes. Oh no, it's not called the modest storage drawers. At storage, there you go. So a basic drawer is planks and a chest. All right, so then we didn't need to make that many chests because we need to make four drawers. We might not have, might not have enough. There's two. Oh no, we have just enough. We have exactly enough. Oh, not too bad. There you go. And we get the, a drawer key. Draw, oh dear. A drawer key and two storage upgrades. I think those are the bait. Yeah, the first storage upgrades, which is good. Let's claim that. And then, so what do we get? A better crafting table. Oh. Workshop table. The workshop allows you to install up to four crafting tables or furnaces or any combination of the two. It also has an internal inventory to store crafting materials. So it, and it can be upgraded in many ways such as speeding up or continuing to burn fuel to charge up for the next furnace option. Note, crafting quest items in this table will not register for quest completion. Use a vanilla crafting table or the AE2 crafting terminal to quest 
to craft quest items to ensure they are detected by the quest book. Okay. So you need a workshop table and a blank upgrade. A uh, workshop. So you need a blank upgrade. So you need to make two blank upgrades. Cobblestone. Diorite. No, that can be stone. Any stone, it looks like. Diorite, andesite, polished andesite, stone. Yeah, so we need to go and cook up some stone. So we need to make two of those because you need one to make the crafting one to make the work the work the work table and then we also need a blank upgrade to make as well do i have any other what do we have in here we've got cobble i don't think i've really picked up any andesite or anything else because I've not really needed them. Okay, so. Um, one, two. And, oh, I didn't pick up any planks, did I? Nope. Nope. And there's wood here. Okay, so two cobblestone and two planks. Wasn't that it? No. Or have I? Oh it's, oh, it's not cobblestone. It has to be stone. Okay, in that case. No, I think it was four that we'd need. Because it'd be two... Yeah, it'd be four pieces we need. Okay, four pieces of stone. Let's just pop there in for a second. So... Ah, uh, that's the stone. And that is the planks. Crafting component. You shouldn't be seeing this. Okay. <laughs> That's strange. So we've got those two. And then... Oh, I need the crafting table. And to make the workbench table, we need just cobblestone. And we should have all of that in our inventory. And that's that. So we get to pick a loot chest. Let's pick the one in the middle. And I've probably got no portable storage. Did I make? I might have made one already. Um, I can't remember how you get in and out of it though. Right, let's put this down. We'll see how useful it is. Okay, add a crafting table, chest or furnace in the upgrade page to get started. Okay. So let's take this crafting table. Upgrade. Crafting table. Okay. So then I guess I could make a furnace and not sure why you need the upgrade well so i can put that there global upgrades which mod is this engineers workshop reborn okay engine ears is this all no Engineers, 
This is it. Okay. So what upgrades can you get? Storage upgrade adds extra storage. Doesn't stack very well, works with crafting tables. Charger upgrade, let idle components charge up for later. Speed, queuing, adds an input queue. Auto transfer, enables auto transfer to and from the table. Um, filter upgrade, transfer capacity, axe upgrade. Oh, allows your crusher to chop up logs into into planks. What's a crusher? Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if I'm really going to use it, to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but it's there. It's part of the quest, we've done it. I need to find somewhere to put all this stuff. There's the pack sole that we got. It's an osmium pickaxe that I made. Right, I need back my kappa. Need the iron sword. Paxel. Pickaxe. Yep. Yeah. And my bow. And a couple of arrows. Though there really isn't anything down there. But you know, it's good to have it. Right, let's put you guys away as well. Okay, so we need, a, we had to make a bonsai pot. Did I make any more? I don't think I had any, oh I do have books. No, it's copper. So we need, did I not make any more bricks? I think I probably just smelted what I needed. Let's take half the stack. And... Back. We need to make a bonsai pot. Okay. See, bonsai pots are pretty cool. Because you can put it above a chest and it will output um, whatever comes from the tree into a chest. Happy little trees. Well that's probably going to be, from the look at the picture, it's probably going to be a hopping bonsai. So let's make a bonsai tree. Bonsai tree? Well a bonsai pot. But a hopping bonsai is when you you can put it over a chest or some kind, yeah. It's usually a chest or a storage drawer and it will output to that. But a normal bonsai pot will not do that. That's five. And we need to put down another another crafting table. Let's I was gonna say let's get one from downstairs, but that just seems like a waste really. Let's use some of these planks. No, we only need four, not five. Let's use some of these planks that we got as a quest reward. To make a crafting table. Okay, so bonsai pot. Quest complete. Uh, choice reward. I don't need any saplings. I don't want saplings. We'll just take the loot chest. Loot chest. And then this one needs you to make a hopping bonsai. So to make the hopping bonsai, as far as I remember, you need a hopper and the bonsai pot, and that gives you a hopping bonsai. It's very cheap. It's very good for early game. Yeah, a hopper and a bonsai pot. But it's good for getting early game resources, because, you know, especially when you're trying to get apples or, you know, stuff like that in order to survive. It's a good way of having an apple tree so that you can survive on apples basically. And now I need a chest for this, don't I? I wonder, does this retain what you put in it? Yeah. 
Yes, it does. Okay, so it is actually useful. Um, we need a chest. There's the hopper. And then we can make the hopping bonsai. Okay, it doesn't have to have a space. I thought it did. And choice reward. Four hopping bonsais or a loot chest. I have no use for them, so we'll just take the loot chest. What else do we need to do? There's the portable storage. We need to make a backpack. Okay, it will allow you to store more when on the go and when you're out and about. So let's see how you make that backpack. Um, three, six, seven bits of leather, bit of wool and a bit of gold. Right, let's see what we have. We have one piece of gold. Do we have any leather? Can you turn wash and flesh into leather, I wonder? We have four pieces of leather. I wonder. Because I know you can do that on like some sky blocks. But I don't know. Uh, mob drops. No, let's go kill some cows. Let's go kill some cows. Oh, these... I don't know. Some... Some games I have no problems with going down a ladder. And with others, it's like... It, I, I don't know. Maybe there's some special knack to it that I just haven't found out what it is yet. Okay, we've got two cows here, but you belong to the neighbour. We're not going to kill you. Let's kill some wild cows. Right, that's two. That's six. I think that might have been enough. But let's kill another cow anyway. Yep, there's some up here, according to the mini-map. Oh! Is this another half abandoned? Oh, it's a very strange house. Anything in the furnace? No. And we need some wool. I didn't check to see if I had any wool. And looking on the mini map. I'm not seeing any sheep. Let's go back and see if I have any wool. I might have. Oh, I'm hungry. I didn't realise I was that hungry. So, we take the long way home. Anything in here? Just a furnace? No. It's like I'm drunk today. I promise I'm not. Oh, there's wool in here if we're really desperate to get wool. A uh, bottle of water. Can you turn the cobweb into string? I wonder. Raw pork chops. We can cook those up. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, we have a piece of wool. Awesome. Okay, so the backpack, it was the leather, the wool, and am I missing something? I might be missing something. Let's see what I've forgotten. And, oh no, extra piece of leather. There you go. Did say hold shift for details. Uh, sneak and break to equip and sneak and right click the ground with an empty hand to unequip. 
although I'm getting deja vu with this, I'm pretty sure I made I made a backpack earlier. I might be wrong. Uh, let's pick a loot chest and claim that. Uh, let's get back that loot chest because we didn't have any space before. Enough of that. Uh, the portable nullifier will auto pick up to a stack of the item and destroy any more that it picks up. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a look at the backpack. No, it said... Oh, I did already make one. I thought I did, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> you know, there you go. But if you look in the backpack, there's another Paxel and loads of cobble, which is what I've been using it for, really. And then to sneak... No, you right... You right click as, as if you're going to break it. Nope. No, 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 I've done it wrong. I have done it wrong. All right, what did it say? Sneak and break to equip. Okay. So if I put it down, sneak and break. I think I probably just broke it. Let's have a look. F5. Oh no, it's on my back. It's on my back. It blends in with my leather armour, but it's on. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. It's a pity you can't use more than one backpack. Gold. Oh, I had gold in there. Well, let's put that in... Put that in the pulvis. You know what, I probably need to put a hopper on top of that and put a chest so that it would just auto-feed ores. Let's see if we can do that, now I think about it. Because I did do slot upgrade, input, output, yeah. Yeah, so if I make... no. I want a hopper. So I need five iron. I need a chest. Let's put that there. And I need a chest. Let's put that in the food chest. You in the food chest. Um... You can use this to make our hopper. What are those? Hopper pipes? I don't know what that is. Um, let's see, if you put the hopper... Let's put it on the side. So that's there. You get a... Another chest. Put that on top there. Input from the top is enabled. Take that off and auto from the left. And then, did I leave the gold in my... No, I didn't. No, it's just there. Let's take what we have in here and drop that in. Silver, lead. Did I pick up anything else? I don't think I don't think I did. Nickel. I know I picked up something else. I had some gold on me. What did I do with it? Is it in here? No, I just... I literally just saw some gold. I don't know what I did with it. Never mind, unless it's in my... No, it's not in my inventory. Oh, never mind. 
but that should be output. I oh, know. Outputs to the right. That should auto output. Oh, okay. I put it in here. I need coal. <laughs> There's me thinking, oh my god, what's wrong? But now I need coal. Can I do? Okay, I guess I could do that. Split items even. We're going to need a speed upgrade, I think. And that will that will that would say where I put the gold. It was in there. How do you make a speed upgrade for that? Um, furnace, speed, gold, redstone, and iron. Did I bring any redstone up with me? Oh, there you go. I do I do three of those because I need one for each. Gold not can't remember how many gold. Can't remember how many iron either. Okay, speed upgrade. You need two each. Alright, so let's turn that back into redstone dust. And Oh, are you not going to? Are you not going to shift click? That's probably what that upgrade was for then. All right, so we need two gold in the top, two bits of red, two blocks of redstone in the middle, two on each side, and I oh know other way around. That goes at the bottom, and then two bits of iron in the middle. And then we've got two speed upgrades. So this, actually this could probably stay as is. And we can put the two speed upgrades in this. Yeah, that's better. Oh, it's still going to split everything even. I don't want... Yeah, it's a pity you can't tell it to split them some things or not everything I don't know okay so we've done the speed upgrades we've got kind of an automated system and just before we finish let me look and see what's in my loot crates so let's put all this cobblestone and gravel in here for now And let's open the loot crates. Uh, gold and iron, that's pretty good. Uh, more stained planks, not so good. And gold and iron, oh that's awesome. So you managed to get a stack of iron. Oh, I couldn't work out where I was for a minute. Stack of iron and 16 blocks of gold and of course because we have all Dublin on this, it will double. That is awesome. So, that's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.